Somebody say his candles, his soap, his perfumes are spiritual items. Jesus used mud, used clay. Paul used shard, um, a handkerchief. Peter used a shadow. But nobody paid for those things. They were freely given. But his soap is $1,000. $1.4 million for one soap. And he calls his spiritual item. That's a business, my friend. And I was told not long ago he was selling keys. Keys from heaven. And he's selling hook for catching 5,000 fishes in the river. The miracle of Jesus. But Jesus who even did the miracle never sold any hook. <laughs> Senior from Uyo, he said, I am selling this soap. It's now selling 1.4 million. Ah, ah. <laughs> so why are we saying this to our Christian brothers that which is not true now listen this soap is not yet available it's still on the process because August 14th that when the program is coming up but right now the amount $1,000 sir this thing that what you said just now I in fact uh, uh, I just laughed <laughs> I just laugh because something that you never see, you are now interpreting to people and telling people, and listen, and what's not available yet. Now listen to me, whatever you are watching me, anywhere you are, all over the world. Let me tell you, something you don't know is bigger than you. Something you don't know is bigger than humanity. Now I want to let you people know about the things of God, God in order to now to bless every man and every woman. I want you to understand, put you people through, sister, people are now confused. They said, can a Christian use soap? Yes. Let me tell you something. Capital, yes, sister. Some people don't know all those things there. That's why they are suffering. The anointed oil you are seeing is from olive oil. The manufacturers that who manufacture it, then the word of God that sent unto the ordinary uh, oil in order to become an oil of God. This handkerchief you have seen, the Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostle 19, 11 and 12, it's clearly said that this is handkerchief. This handkerchief is from the market square. In order, a prophet, pastors, men of God, clergymen, they now speak. God has given grace to Apostle Paul to speak the word of God to ordinary handkerchief from the market square in order to carry power, to deliver apron even to our clothes. This clothes you have seen, even to our clothes in order to now to deliver people, those are who believe and use it for science and order and drives away evil spirits. That's what the Bible says in the book of Acts of Apostles 19, 11, and 12. Go and read it. It's ordinary anchorage. Now, the same grace are given to pastor, prophet, but people don't understand all this is I wonder, do you know many people have gone to university today? No job. Many people, no politicians today, they work for politicians. But they forget about them. Why? There is something behind. There's an evil spirit behind it in order for them not to succeed. People ask, Jeremiah want to use uh, miracle soap, uh, this one. Everywhere I wonder, are you not tired of suffering? Let me tell you, Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, you people, he will show you greater things that you've never revealed to anybody. Now listen carefully. In the book of Acts of the Apostles 19, Verse 11 12. It's all about place that we're talking about the anchor sheet. Today, all pastors and men of God using anchor sheet. And it's become a battle for them. And we are succeeding with it. This is a soap. Go to the book of Jeremiah 2, verse 22. It's clearly stated. You use this soap, or no matter you use this soap, it cannot cleanse you. But the one that back it up with the word of God can clean a man. Now, we are talking about two dirtiness. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 51 verse 7 also says that when you now wash your body with soap, huh? mm. your body will be clean as snow. But now, not ordinary soap they are talking about. This soap is from company. It's also NAVDAC, approved with NAVDAC number. Is this, is this soap? Why I'm using it? Because my own to just send the word of God. I use it. I succeeded with it. Something you don't know, quiet. In the media, social media space, people say, hey, pastor, I want to use this one. Pastor, I want to use this one. Pastor, I want to use this one. Let's go. Jeremiah 2, verse 22, sister. Though thou wash thee with mine, and take the take thee, much, many, many, much, many soap, yet 
thy iniquity is marked before me. Set the Lord God. You hear that? What is it saying here is that no matter you use soap to bath, if the soap, the word of God is not to back up, it will not work. It will not cleanse away the evil spirit that which they are spreading your body. I hear to answer those people that who don't know the things of the spirit. There are some people out there, when they are progressing, they are not happy. Jealousy, they are jealous over it. Why? Are you not tired of fooling people that yet they are not blessed? It's not the fault of the man that who you work for. It is your fault. There are some certain things that you need to do. We can see the anchor ship in order to heal the sick. What about this one? Anchor ship from Market Square. This one from Market Square. Now, the time that when you were born, there's a woman delivered your mother. Your mother, there was a smell came out, followed her body. We call it a body odor. There are some things that which no man might not understand that follow the baby come out from the mother's womb. Because of the smell, the woman that would deliver us, the, your mother, now look for oil. We got oil and also water in order to now to watch the body of soap. Yeah, with, with soap. In order to now, with soap, ordinary soap to wash the body and the person become clean. Soap must go in there. Water must go in there. Oil must go in there. When you look at all of them, all these items, all of them, the children of God will use them. And God also proved them there. And do not wash and clean, wash it well uh, with uh, the oil and the water. The people have body order. order. So if they come near you, you even yourself, you begin to irritate you, you tell them to go. It's ordinary, if ordinary anchorship, can we be back it up? The Lord said, back it up with the word of God. What about the soap? We back it, this ordinary soap. It's a word that I am used to back it up that will make it clean. Some time ago, now you have been disappointed. You have you want to start the work. They just disappointment and failure delay. This soap, you come, I will give it to you. Once you use it, then you see how this thing works. It's different from ordinary soap. Ordinary soap. This is a spiritual soap. God never revealed to them. That's why, sister, they are suffering. People are not listening. I use it, it works for me. Job 9, 30 says, If I wash myself with snow water and make my hands never so clean. Why? No matter you wash yourself, don't be deceived. No matter you bath with the soap, that is to clean your physical body. These are things of the spirit. Your spiritual person, the people that who are blocking you, no matter you bath with the one that never, they will not send the word unto, or God unto, it's ordinary soap. But the one that use that water even in your house, if you now bring it, those are who's going to follow us this program, August, on August, August 14, 15, 16, 17. Any soap you have in your house, just get ready. It is written, not me that written it. Number one, Jeremiah 2, verse 22. Number two, go and read it. Number three, Psalm 51, verse uh, 7. So, 9, verse 30. Go and read it. You are going to see what I'm talking about. Don't be deceived. These are things of the spirit, not the things of physical. Every successful man has a special father in order to direct, to succeed. Hey, are you not tired? Don't listen to those talks. So the time that when you are in trouble, they will not come and help you. Social media people hear me. This soap is written in the Bible in the Bible. Whether you like it or not, it is written clearly stated there. Jeremiah 2, verse 22. You, even Malachi. Malachi 3, 2 also stated it there. Yes, now listen, let me tell you, tell you why many pastors are suffering because of, they don't understand the things of the spirit. Because they don't want to know these things. That is why the things are they are in one spot. Hey. Mississippi, Mesilam, sister, is today is 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. I'm 13 years now old in ministry. So, brethren, uh, whatever you are watching me, I am Papa J. Whether you like it or not, Prophet Jeremiah Botafui is now advising. Wherever you are, then watch. Go and use it. You see how it's going to work for you. Now, number one, going to church. Number two, knowing the things of the secret of the, the things of God. So, I thank you very much. You have come today. You have seen what the quotations are. Not me that uh, written the quotation. And anchorship is a quotation. It is written after the apostles 19, 11, 12. It is clearly stated. It is written Jeremiah 2, 22. Job, go there and check it. Job 9, 30. It's clearly stated there when it's Psalm 51, verse 7. Also say it. About this one. So, the things of the Spirit leave it for the people of the Spirit. Spiritual items have been in existence from the time of old as Jesus performed many miracles with items like the clay, 
the water, and even his saliva. In our days, spiritual items are used as a vessel of the power of God to manifest in the lives of his children. Here are some of the people whose lives have been transformed by God through spiritual items. Blessing was afflicted by incurable skin disease. Papa J administered the pool of Bethesda water on her and she got her healing. Thank you, Jesus.